So, our topic today is uh, about the history of IACP. So, the International Association of Chiefs of Police or IACP is the world's largest and most influential professional association for police leaders with more than 31,000 members in over 165 countries. The IACP is a recognized leader in global policy, committed to advancing safer communities through thoughtful, um, progressive police leadership. Since uh, 1893, the association has been serving uh, communities worldwide by uh, uh, speaking out uh, on behalf of law enforcement and uh, advancing leaderships and uh, uh, professionalism in in policing worldwide so uh, the iacp is known for its commitment to enhancing community safety by shaping the future of the uh, police professions so through timely uh, research through timely research programming programming and uh, unparalleled training opportunities uh, the iacp is preparing current and uh, uh, emerging police uh, leaders uh, and uh, the agencies and uh, communities they serve to succeed in addressing the most pressing issues, uh, threats, and challenges of the day. Uh, <clears throat> 47 of chiefs of police cities in the United States uh, met in Chicago in May 1893. At the meeting, uh, the organization was uh, founded as the uh, National Chiefs of Police Union. Uh, the founders of the organization sought to establish a central police bureau to uh, improve detection and prevention of uh, uh, crime in the United States states as well as to foster an exchange uh, of ideas and uh, information related to law enforcement. Um, that's all for the history of IACP. Hello to everyone. I am Jason S1B and I am here to report the description and objectives of IACP, uh, known as International Association of Chiefs of Police. The IACP is the world's oldest and largest nonprofit membership organization of police executives, with over 20,000 members in over 89 different countries. IACP's leadership consists of the operating chief executives of international, federal, state, and local agencies of all sizes. When was IACP adopted the Law Enforcement Code of Ethics? Well, according to my research, the IACP adopted the Law Enforcement Code of Ethics at 64th Annual IACP Conference and Exposition in October 1957. The Code of Ethics stands as a preface to the mission and commitment law enforcement agencies make to the public they serve. Now, IACP's purpose. So, the IACP's purpose is that uh, to advance the policing profession through advocacy, research, outreach, and education in order to provide for safer communities worldwide. Now, let's go to the objectives. Uh, number one is that to advance the science 
and act of police service uh, literally known uh, this is to ensure that the presence of being a law enforcer or being a part of a law enforcement is all goods and mastered physically and mentally uh, the second one is that to develop and disseminate improved administrative technical and operational practices and promote their use in police work um, here this one also needed for the uh, is also needed for a stronger capability for unforeseen circumstances and the third one is that to foster police cooperation and the exchange of information and experience among police administration throughout the world uh, here this is one important needed because the faster cooperation is the faster operation thank you that's all IACP International Association of Chief of Police vision serving the leaders of today developing the leaders of tomorrow and also centered on shaping the future of policing professions. In this, to being a leader in a community or to all of us means that we know or you know how to communicate with others, understanding new technologies, social work, and etc. And also able to relate to the young, the old, and everyone in between with us. Mission. IACP is, IACP is dedicated to the advancing the law enforcement professions through advocacy, outreach, education, and programs. Like, it provides training and education at all stages of career, sharing innovative policing ideas, and provides resources and information, and also it shapes our professions. Another is enhancing community safety by shaping the future the future of police professions by or through timely research programming and unparalleled training opportunities and etc. IACP is the one is the one organizations who serves and supports all from small town to large cities and all around the world or worldwide. Each and every day, law enforcement agencies and officers around the world confront a remarkable array of challenges as they strive to fulfill their mission of protecting the public. The landscape on which they operate is constantly changing. The crimes they investigate are growing increasingly complex and the threats they face are continually evolving. Ensuring that their agencies and officers successfully meet this challenge is no easy task. Daily, law enforcement leaders are confronted with a variety of challenges, competing demands, and ever-changing community expectations that require their attention and response. Successfully overcoming these is a daunting task which requires that executives do all that they can to ensure that their officers and departments are properly trained, equipped, and prepared to protect the communities they serve. That is why the International Association of Chiefs of Police is constantly working to serve the leaders of today. On Capitol Hill, in the field, in the profession, with industry, around the globe, in the media, and on issues of officer safety, the IACP works each day to provide its members with the tools and resources necessary to fulfill their mission of protecting the public and to protect their officers. The IACP also provides a voice for the law enforcement community on a national and international level. The organization is dedicated to meeting the needs of law enforcement executives. For over 100 years, we have been launching internationally acclaimed programs, speaking out on behalf of law enforcement, conducting groundbreaking research, 
and providing exemplary programs and services to our membership across the globe. This mission continues today. From new technologies to emerging threats and trends, the IACP provides comprehensive and responsive service to its members throughout the world. The focus is on developing the law enforcement leaders of tomorrow. The IACP Center of Police Leadership, its Police Chief Mentoring Program, and numerous other training and educational opportunities are designed to prepare tomorrow's leaders for the challenges they will face. Membership in the IACP is a valuable investment in your professional development. IACP members are able to participate in committees and sections of topical interest and network with law enforcement leaders from around the world. These opportunities engage you in your professional development, inspire you to learn more, and help you to become the best leader you can be. The IACP. Serving the leaders of today. Developing the leaders of tomorrow. Hi, my name is Zaipi Kumising and what I am about to discuss is about the stated missions of IACP or International Associations of Chiefs of Police. Number one is advance the science and art of police services. Number two, develop and disseminate improved administrative, technical and operational practices and promote their use in police work. Number three, Foster police cooperation in the exchange of information and experience among police administrators throughout the world. Number four, bring about recruitment and training in the police profession of qualified persons. And lastly, number five, in encourage adherence of all police officers to high professional standards of performance and conduct. That's all. Our second report is Interpol, or International Criminal Police Organization. Interpol, first definition is, it is the world's fifth largest international organization. Na kung saan ito ang international na organization na nagpapabilis sa pagkikipagtulungan ng international na pulisya. Sabi dito sa pangalawang ipinasyon, Ito ay may sakop na 195 membro na bansa na kung saan ito ang world's largest organization. Pangkuling definition, it is an organization facilitating international police cooperation and support and assist all organization, authorities, and services whose mission is to prevent or combat international criminals. O, Ang Interpol ay tumutulong sa nga pulisya sa lahat ng kanilang trabaho upang magkaroon ng litas at kapayapaan ang mundo. In order to do it, Interpol enable them to share and assist data on crimes and criminals and they offer a range of technical and operational support. Moving on to its history. Interpol was founded in Austria in 1923 as the International Criminal Police Commission or ICPC with headquarters located in Vienna until 1942. Following the UNCLOS German-Austria Union in 1938, the organization fell under the control of Nazi Germany and the commission headquarters were eventually moved to Berlin in 1942. Next one, let's go to the principle. So, the working principle of Interpol is, Interpol is uh, not a police force. It is a machinery of international police cooperation and communication. The principle in which Interpol functioning is based has stowed the best time. It has become clear that the organization cannot have teams of detectives with supranational powers who travels around investigating case in different countries. International police cooperation is the coordinate action of the member countries police force of all which supply and request information and services. Big sabihin ang Interpol ay tumutukoy sa isang international na ahensya na siyang tulay sa pagtutulungan ng at komunikasyon ng mga pulisya sa iba't ibang bansa. 
So, wag po tayong malito. Ang Interpol ay hindi police force o polisya. Ito po ay isang ahensya na siyang tulay sa komunikasyon at pagtutulungan ng iba't ibang bansa. Ngayon, susunod ang calls and structure. Na kung saan dito, na, dito makikita natin na mayroong executive committee, general assembly, national central bureau, central secretarian, at advisor. Una, unahin muna natin ang General Assembly. General Assembly. This is the International Supreme Governing Body. It meets annually and comprises delegate appointed by each member country. O ang General Assembly ay ang tagapagmahala at nag nagdadala sa lahat ng mga bansa minsan sa isang taon para sa isang desisyon na kung saan sakop nito ang importanteng desisyon kaugnay sa policy, resources, working methods, finances, activities, and program na titutukoy dito sa pangalawang definition ng General Assembly. Pangatlong definition, it is composed of delegates appointed by the governments of members' country. Pangkoli, it, is, it also elects the organization's executive committees. So, ano ba, ang mga, ano ba itong executive committees? Ito ang susunod nating tatalakayin. Ang executive committees ay may 10 members comprise the president of the organization, 2 vice president, and 9 delegates. They are all from different countries and the geographic distribution is balanced. Susunod, tingnan naman, naman natin kung ilan, ilang taon ang termino ng bawat isa. Nakasaad dito na ang presidente ay elected for 4 years, ang vice presidente ay at delegates ay tatlong taon. They are not immediately eligible for re-election neither to the same post or as delegates to the executive committees. Ngayon, kaya naman natin ang executive committee's function. Nakasaad dito, una, supervise. Silang tagapangasiwa ng nang nagpapatupad ng desisyon ng General Assembly. Pangalawa, silang tagapagmahala ng mga tatalakayin sa General Assembly. Pangatlo, submit to the General Assembly or silang nagsusumiti sa General Assembly ng mga trabaho o proyekto na kapaki-pakinabang. Susunod, supervise, tagapangasiwa sa administrasyon at trabaho para sa Secretary General. Pangkule, exercise all the powers or ginagamit ang lahat ng kapangyarihan na ipinagkatiwala ng assembly. Man natin tatalakayin ay ang General Secretarian. It is located in Loyon, France which operate 24, 24 hours a day, 3, 365 days a year and is run by the Secretary General. So, kung tinignan natin, ang General Secretarian ay working 24 hours. So, parang wala, sila, wala silang pahinga. There are four official language which are Arabic, English, French, French, and Spanish. It also have six regional office which are mentioned here and liaison office at the United Nations in New York. One, let's talk about the General General Secretarian functions. Says here that A. Put into application the decision of the Gen Gen General Assembly and Executive Committee. So, after the discussion of Executive Committee and with the help of General Assembly, the, the General Secretarian will put into application the decision that were made during the General Assembly. B. Serve as international center in the fight against ordinary crime. C. Serve as a technical information center. Dito kasi, uh, information center because they give information about the crimes and the criminals. And they provide technical supports. D. Ensure the efficient administration of the organization. A. Maintain contact with the national and international authorities whereas question relative to the question for criminals shall be dealt with through the national central bureaus. 
I'm sorry that should be bureaus. Sorry for the letter L. Next one. Produce any application which may be considered useful. Then, next, organize and perform secretariat work at the session of the General Assembly, the Executive, executive Committee, and any other body of the organization. Next, draw up a draft program of work for the coming years for the consideration and approval of the General Assembly and the Executive Committee. Lastly, maintain as far as if possible direct and constant contact with the President of the Organization. Before I start my report, I would like to introduce myself. So, my name is Clement Kitang and then I'm the second report in the Interpol about the Interpol the IACP so at this juncture we'll, I'm gonna be reporting the National Central Bureaus so before that uh, the coverage or yes the coverage of my report would be the definition of National Central Bureaus is and the, 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 the definition of National Central Bureau is the advisor of it, member countries of Interpol, the aims of Interpol, goals of Interpol, and the three core function. So, what is what is National Central Bureau? So, this is, it is designated contact point for the General Secretariat, regional offices, and other member countries requiring assistance for overseas investigation in and the local location and apprehension of fugitives so ito yung mga uh, nasa ibang bansa at i think yes na uh, nag-iimbestiga sa mga uh, takas na kriminal yes uh, apprehension of fugitives so, overseas investigations ganun the NCBS the, or the National Central Bureaus are the heart of Interpol. Um, they seek the inform informa information needed by other NCBS to help investigate crime of crime or of criminals in their own country, and they share criminal data and intelligence to assist another country. Uh, so yeah, that's yun yung sinabi ko kanina na uh, parang uh, yung criminals sa isang sa isang bansa ay yung invest Investigator sa isang bansa, uh, makipag-communicate sa mga uh, other secretaries, general secretaries, para pag-combine nila yung ideas nila para mahuli ang isang criminal. Yun. According to the to the Article 31 of Constitution of the International Criminal Police in, in Organization uh, Interpol, let's see the one, dito na yung sabit lang. Let's see here. Wait. I'm gonna show you the article 31 according to order in order to further in order to further aims the organization needs the constant active cooperation of its members who should all within the power while compatible with the legislations of other countries participate diligently in its activities so yung communication ng isang bansa sa uh, other members of the Interpol dapat uh, connected na connected dapat walang uh, anong tawag doon hmm. dapat connected silang dalawa parang dapat uh, hindi dapat siya malayo or ano wait lang I'm gonna find the hanapin natin yung tamang term hmm tapos stable stable pa rin na uh, intact yung connection nila para successfully para ma success na mahuli ang isang criminal ganun so next next one mm -hmm. the advisors of NCBS so or the yes Interpol for so an article 34, 34. Article 34 of Constitution of the International Criminal Police Organization in, of Interpol 
on the scientific matters, the organization may consult advisors. The rule of advisors of the advisors shall be purely advisory only. So, sila, ag, tra, parang taga-advise lang sila, wala silang pa, uh, uh, dapat hindi sila makialam, kundi uh, tips lang. Advise lang nila kung anong gagawin, ganun, ganun. Hindi yung pupunta sila sa field, ganun. In Article 35 of the Constitution of the International Criminal Police Organization, Interpol, advisors shall be appointed for three years by the Executive Committee. Their appointment will become definite only after notifications by the General Assembly. Hindi yung pupunta sila sa field, ganun. In Article 35 of the Constitution, of the International Criminal Police Organization, Interpol, advisors shall be appointed for three years by the Executive Committee. Their appointment will become definite only after notifications by the General Assembly. So, dapat, uh, yung notif, notif, may notif dapat ang yung sa, sa, gen, sa Assembly nila, General Assembly. They shall be chosen among those who have a worldwide reputation in in some field of interest to the organization. An advisor may be removed from the office by the decision of General Assembly. So, yung General Assembly ang mag-notif, i-vote ng yung uh, yung executive committee yung pipili, tapos mag-notif yung General Assembly, pero yung General Assembly na ang pwede rin magtanggal din ma, uh, mag, magtatanggal sa advisor so just providing advisor yun yung sinabi ko kanina next one is the members of Interpol uh, there are 194 members countries country, uh, there are 194 countries this makes them the largest police organization so malaki laki yun sobrang laki kasi 100 countries, 194, so expect They share ideas with benefits related to police investigation. Yan yung sinabi ko kanina. Uh, dapat naka-intact sila sa isa't isa. So, in each uh, secretariats, dapat naka-connect. The countries would come to together at the assembly to decide policy, working methods, finances, and activities. For the heads of, furthermore, the heads of NCB meet annually at a conference to share experiences. Yon. So, para may meeting meeting din sila para uh, magshare na sila ng thoughts nila on how to solve these kinds of crime, these kinds of problem. Um, uh, ano yung magshare ng isang bansa, such as France, the ano country ng mga members nun? Germany, Greece, ganon. Uh, Australia ano yung mag-share nila sa uh, anong mag-share ng Afghanistan sa Russia ganun o anong mag-share din ng Thailand para matulungan ng ibang bansa laban sa para laban sa kriminalidad ganun para masolve ang isang kriminalidad ganun yun uh, that's the uh, connectivity dapat may intact relationship ganon so yung mga members uh, Afghanistan, Albania Algeria Andorra, Russia Laos, Japan, Jordan, Thailand Yemen and etc marami ba itong nakalagay dito sa book so just read it there ang mga Palestine yun pa next one ah uh, the two aims of Interpol embodied by its constitution constitution so the first one is to ensure and promote the widest possible mutual assistance between all criminal police authorities within the limits of laws ex existing in different countries and in the spirit of universal declaration of human rights so Ano pa rin, dapat, uh, para mas, para 
mas solid para mas madali mas solve ang isang problema uh, mutual assistance of yung mutual assistance between cri all criminal authorities parang sabay-sabay nilang yung kapag uh, nagsusol yung isang kapag yung is sa isang tao sa, kung yung tao sa Japan tapos pupunta sa anong countries ang meron dito Ta uh, yung isang criminal sa Japan pupunta sa Finland tapos may issue siya doon isusol ng Finland pag din nila kaya mag-investigate sila, sila sa Japan ano bang background dito ganun it means may uh, mutual assistance parang may connection pa rin sila Uh, but pero yung kanpay na the all criminal authorities parang sabay-sabay nilang yung kapag uh, nagsusol yung isang kapag yung is, sa isang tao sa, kung yung tao sa Japan tapos pupunta sa anong countries ang meron dito Ta uh, yung isang criminal sa Japan pupunta sa Finland tapos may issue siya doon isusol ng Finland pag din nila kaya mag-investigate sila, sila sa Japan ano bang background dito, ganun. It means may uh, mutual assistance. Parang may connection pa yun sila. Uh, but, pero yung kan pa yun the um, it's not the uh, the proper assist, assist uh, proper investigation para walang mag-violate na rights ng isang tao. Ganun. To establish and develop all institutions likely to contribute effect effectively to the prevention of and suppression or ordinary law ordinary law crimes yun uh, fair parang patas lang uh, walang maabuso uh, pantay lahat ng pag imbestiga uh, mayaman mahirap ganun uh, para iwas iwas lang sa Uh, human rights violation uh, tapos yung mm -hmm. yun yun. next one the other goals or purposes to further mutual aid and cooperation among the police forces of each national members to prevent and inhibit crimes second To support the police forces and service in the member countries in their efforts to prevent and conduct criminal investigation as efficiently and effectively as possible. Third, to foster global global police organiz, organization by sharing intelligence about about cross border criminal activities among its member countries or nation. Fourth. Pursues criminal who operate in more than one country, smugglers, yeah, smugglers. Those who stay in one country but whose crimes affect another country, they are counterfeiters, counterfeiters of foreign currency. Panloloko yan. And those who commit a crime in one country and flee to another to, yung, to foster global police organization by sharing intelligence among cross border criminal activities among its member countries uh, no ba yung year na may I don't know kung kaila, basta may alam kong balita noon na may Uh, ISIS ba yun? Mga ISIS daw na Alam ba yung gera na yun? Sa Marawi May Marawi search Marawi Marawi ba yun? Yes, sa Marawi at yun Doon yung May mga Terrorista uh, Sample din yun kasi uh, Hindi natin alam if there, uh, May mga Mm, criminals or yes a group of people or uh, may mga gang uh, ano hindi ta gang doon dito gang doon uh, i forgot the term mm, 
is a, a group that uh, help the criminals para laban uh, against terrorism ganun terrorism pala parang terrorist terrorism na sisira sa gobyerno gobyerno natin so makipag-communicate sila sa bansa kung kung saan alam nila nang kung saan nanggaling yung mga taong yon o isang grupo na yon tapos check the background again ganun lang yan ano po process next one three core function to secure global police communications for international police uh, the fundamental pre precondition for international police cooperation is for police services to be able to communicate with each other securely in the real time and throughout the world three core function to secure global police communications for international police uh, the fundamental pre Precondition for international police cooperation is for police services to be able to communicate with each other securely in the real time and throughout the world. Ganito rin yung nangyayari ata sa Russia. Uh, they are part of also the, of Interpol but uh, some sanction some some sanction were na nagpapataw sa kanila so hopefully uh, some Uh, mabago yung isip ni Putin so yung communication ng its leaders um, example natin kung polis yung uh, ilagay natin yung paa ng leader ng isang bansa sa uh, bilang isang polis tapos magpapataw siya ng sanction oh. lang, such, parang may international uh, communication tapos yung Uh, mm -hmm. forget that yung mga police officers din ng mga karatig bansa ng Russia as well as the Ukraine uh, na alarma din so may communication din ng mga yun may, uh, mutual mutual communication din para alam nila kung anong gagawin nila if in case na uh, the Ukra Ukrainian ay the ano yan? Ukraine the Russian president President Putin will declare uh, war against them also if the uh, successfully or totally uh, uh, totally pag total pag nasakop na nila yung buong Ukraine so hopefully uh, no next one the ability of the police to exchange crucial data quickly and securely securely is a cornerstone effective of international law enforcement so yun yung kasi ang data dapat uh, sensitive so dapat Walang pasa-pasa lang, walang to sabihin mo sa kanya tapos sabihin mo sa kanya, tapos sabihin mo sa kanya. No. That's not the good idea. So, direct from leader to leader. Or from the police leader, yes, police leader or police uh, police leader to police leader, communicate na sila ganun gawin niyo, ganun. Wala yung uh, ipasa mo sa, sa kanya, tapos ipasa mo, tapos ipasa mo, tapos pumunta sa boss mo, ganun. No. Kasi there might be a chance or possibility na magbago yung uh, message na darating sa paruruunan. Interpol Global Communication 24-7 no, Communication wa, I-24-7 It connects law enforcement officials it all in all 100 It is member countries and provides them with the means to share. Sorry, sorry, excuse me. To share crucial information on criminals and criminal activities. It also enables member countries to access each other national databases, business to business connection. It, lastly, it also allows any member countries safety obtain, communicate data related to crime. 
or criminals etc so parang uh, uh, parang may tiwala ka na i-access mo yung uh, access nila access nila yung databases databases ng uh, crime related ng isang bansa tapos i-access mo yung isang leader din i-access na rin yung uh, crime databases ng isang bansa so alam nila yung anong gagawin nila basta the important thing is yung sensitivity na dapat walang share mo sa iniimbestigahan mo pag iniimbestigahan mo yung isang grupo huwag mo share sa kanila yung thoughts thoughts so dapat sayo lang or yung leader lang tapos yung uh, leader din ng isang bansa or leader ng isang ng pulis sa isang bansa so ayun kayo lang tapos pag-usapan nyo pag-usapan nyo sa mga pag-usapan uh, ng pag-usapan sa isang grupo yung kung ano ang gagawin ang tawag na ba dun? So, nakalimutan ko na pag-usapan ng um, buong unit pag-usapan ng buong unit yung sinabi ng ibang bansa tapos imbistagahan ano, tapos send tapos anong 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 yung kung anong naimbestigahan din nila sa ibang bansa i-share din nila tapos uh, mag-usap kayo ito yung nakuha namin ito yung nakuha namin ganun the second one is operational data service and database databases for police Inter, Interpol manages several databases accessible to the Interpol bureaus in all member countries through IT247 communication system which contain critical information or criminal and criminality yun yun sinabi ko kanina the second one is operational data service and database databases for police Inter, Interpol manages several databases accessible to the Interpol bureaus in all member countries through IT247 communication system which contain critical information or criminal and criminality yun yun sinabi ko kanina critical information or cr on criminal criminals and cr criminality oh yun critical information should not be shared or walang dapat chismis sa mga sibilyan um, dapat from uniform uniform personal only or for investigators only mind and find suspected terrorists criminal data on criminal criminals names and photos fingerprints dna profiles lost or stolen troubles documents child sexual abuse images stolen works of art stolen motor vehicles let's see it here i'm gonna i'm gonna show you but i'm gonna get out of that mind sorry wala pala relations out of organization application of education No, I didn't know that. Sorry. So, mind mobile Interpol network databases. This provides offline access to Interpol debates using I-247, IPSG, or Interpol General Secretariat that provide can provide member countries with a copy of the data in its databases which be accessed locally through connection with existing national servers yeah. uh, ito yung mga na offline offline mga to uh, IPSG or International General Secretariat means the body means the body that coordinates all policing and administrative activities last one is find fixed inter interpol network 
database databases this provide access to Interpol databases through online internet integration and allows communication between national com computer servers in those at the, at the Interpol Secretariat via I-247 So ito, mind offline uh, parang naka uh, set na parang ano, it's parang offline game pag open mo lang pag bukas mo lang andun na yung ideas yung isang uh, database uh, criminal databases ng isang bansa offline parang siyang application na offline pag open mo makita mo pindot mo lang tap mo lang tapos pindot mo lang tapos may makita ka ng ganitong mga databases then find or the uh, online then sa online na to ito yung mga uh, kailangan mo pa ng um, mas sensitive to kasi kailangan mo pa ng mag access uh, oh may access, access pa to para mo makita mo makita mo yung databases so the third the third core function would be reported by the next reporter so once again my name is Clemon Kitang and then I'm gonna uh, send I'm gonna pass then the screen to my next friend to the next reporter and that's only my report thank you hi classmates my topic is uh, operational police support service Inter interpol currently prioritize crime fighting programs on fugitives public safety and terrorism drugs and organized crime trafficking in human beings and financial and high-tech crime other projects uh, deal with child pornography on the internet, stolen vehicle, stolen works of art and cultural property, bioterrorism bio and uh, identifying and tracing of illicit weapon. Components of uh, operational police support service. First is uh, criminal analysis unit. It contributes to investigation by assisting officers working at the general Seritarian, Seritariat and uh, in member countries with research and analysis on crime trends. It also provides trainings, training course in uh, criminal analysis techniques uh, for member countries. Second is uh, CCC, Command and uh, Coordination Sentry. It operates around the clock in all Interpol 4 for official language, English, French, Spanish, and Arabic, and serve as uh, the first point of uh, contact for any member country faced with uh, a crisis situation. It monitors news channels and Interpol message exchange between member countries to ensure the full resources of organization are ready and available whenever they may be needed. Its staff can help national police across time zone and language barriers when seeking assistance with an uh, investigation. This can be, for example, to locate fugitives or uh, carry out identity checks or uh, the databases checks. Third is uh, incident response team or disaster victim identification teams. It is composed of uh, officers from general secret secretariat and uh, member countries which can be dispatched to the scene of uh, incident within uh, hour or an event. A team of uh, experts deployed at the request of a member country during a crisis situation such as uh, large-scale accident or natural, natural disaster. Number four is uh, 
Interpol notice system. Interpol notice are uh, international request for cooperation to share critical crime related information. It serves to alert police of uh, fugitive suspect, suspected terrorism, dangerous criminal, missing persons, or weapon threats. There are currently eight color coded notices red, blue, green, yellow, black, purple, gray, and orange. And the Interpol United Nations special notice, notice issued for groups or individuals who are the target of uh, UN sanction against uh, Al-Qaeda and Taliban. Color code of uh, Interpol notices communication. Number one is uh, red red wanted notice request for the arrest of subject for whom an arrest warrant has been issued and uh, extradition will be will be sold. Number two is blue seeking the identity and location of subject who committed or witnessed criminal offense. Three is green providing warning about uh, career criminals who have uh, committed offense in several countries. Yellow, seeking mission on or lost people especially, especially child abducted parents. Number five is uh, black. Black is seeking the identification of uh, corpses. Purple, warning of uh, unusual modus operandi. Seven is uh, sharing knowledge of uh, organized crime group. Orange, last is uh, Advising of criminal activity with international ramification that does not involve a specific person or group. Hi, my name is Orlando Insulan Jr. and my report is about the Interpol Manila, the Philippine Center of Transnational Crime. Number one is the working principles. Interpol is a not police force. It is a machinery for international police cooperation and communication. The principle of the, in which Interpol's functioning is based have stood the best time it has been become clear that the organization cannot be a team of detectives with supernatural powers who travel around the investigating cases in different countries. International police cooperation is the coordinated action of the member countries' police force, all which supply and request information and service. Uh, some of the important provision of Interpol Constitution to provide for the following. A. To ensure the, and promote the widest possible mutual assistance between all criminal police authorities within the limits of the laws existing in the different countries and in the spirit of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And B. To establish and develop all institutions like to contribute effectively to the prevention of suppression of ordinary law crimes. C. It is strictly forbidden for the organization to undertake any intervention or activities of a political, military, religious, or racial character. ICP, or what we call Interpol National Central Bureau. The ICP Interpol Constitution calls for the appointment by each member country of the body to serve as the national central bureau and the recognizing the importance of the role of ncbs in the context of international police cooperation and believing that for an ncb to be uh, effective and meet the needs of international police cooperation the document entitled the national central bureau of the icp interpol policy was adopted as set as policy guidelines for NCBS. The NCB activities can be summarized as follows. Letter A. Collect documents and criminal intelligence which have a direct bearing on a international police cooperation from a source in their own countries and pass this material on the other NCBs and the General Secretariat. Letter B ensures that the police action or operation requested by another country's NCBs are carried out on our territory. Letter C, receive requests for information checks, etc. from another NCBs and reply to such requests. And 
Letter D, transmit requests for international cooperation and made by their own courts of police department to the NCBs of the other countries. And the letter E, and the heads of the NCB attend Interpol General Assembly session as member of their country else. Delegating the subsequently ensures that assembly's resolution are implemented. Next is the National Central Bureau, the Interpol Manila. The NCB Interpol Manila traced its beginning in 1961 when the Philippines became a member of a ICPO Interpol which the National Bureau of Investigation as its focal points. Since the NCB Interpol Manila has undergone change which enabled it to confront the challenges of times. In one of the General Assembly meeting of ICPO Interpol, it has been decided and adopted the National Central Bureau shall be handled by controlling body of headquarters of the criminal police organization of a member state to be able to do its undertaking with authority. In compliance law of President of Philippine issued memorandum of order now NR 92 on February 15, 1993 designating the Philippine National Police as the Interpol National Central Bureau for the Philippine with the Chief Philippine National Police as its current chairman. And that's all, that's all of my report. Thank you. Thank you very much for the previous reporter for in, imparting us knowledge about Interpol Manila. Moving on. I am Alex Portonato and I will be discussing about the mission, function, roles, and other information about NCB Interpol Manila. First of all, the Interpol Central Bureau was originally composed of the Director of General Philippines National Police as the chairman and its member are the Director of NBI, Commissioners of BOC, BIR, and BOI also the governor of BSP, the executive director of DDB, and the commissioners of EIIB. On the other hand, this is the structure of NALIC subcommittee on the Interpol structure of NCB Manila, which we can find it at the page 63 of our module. The NCB Interpol Manila serve as the office and main coordinating body for the international police cooperation against the transnational crime representing all law enforcement agencies in the Philippines. In order to attain these missions, it monitors and coordinates all activities of all law enforcement agencies related to transnational crimes committed against for affecting the Philippines. Secondly, it maintains records and minutes of all meetings of NCB Interpol Manila. It also operates and maintains the operation center of NCB Interpol Manila as focal point for international cooperation against transnational crimes for all law enforcement agencies in the Philippines. Lastly, it also functions as a subcommittee of NALIC for the monitor monitoring of the sensitive activities of the latter. To understand more about the rules and function of NCB sub-bureaus, information exchange between the Interpol General Secretariat and NCB telecommunication and other examples and further explanation we will be watching short videos regarding this matter from from the youtube channel of interpol philippines the interpol have trained us and the way how to process these uh, people crossing our borders from other countries, no? especially from the Indonesia, Malaysia, and other parts of the ASEAN region. This is a conglomeration of law enforcement agencies such as the Bureau of Immigration, the Customs, the National Police, 
and other law enforcement uh, agencies with uh, police functions. That is why uh, we are very, very glad that uh, Interpol have uh, given us this opportunity to have uh, trained with them. With the Interpol uh, assistance, no, we can have this coordination with other countries. We are being forewarned from Indonesia or Malaysia or other parts of the ASEAN nation if there are some uh, persons of interest coming in to our country. And we are very grateful for this because it is the efforts of the Interpol. Now we are also having this collaboration with other countries through ASEAN. But it was the Interpol that first introduced this kind of coordination with other countries. We employed and asked Interpol General Secretariat to deploy the Interpol Major Event Support Team in our country for this particular event, the ASEAN Summit, wherein uh, 10 ASEAN member countries and uh, other uh, head of states are coming. And uh, it was indeed a success because uh, of our cooperation with each other. Before uh, hand, uh, of course, we have uh, prepared for this particular event. That is why uh, our county created the Committee on Security, Peace and Order and Emergency Preparedness and Response. And out of this committee, the creation of the Multi-Agency Coordinating Committee was established wherein all law enforcement agencies are involved, including the Philippine Center on Transnational Crime and Interpol. We had been preparing for this event and, of course, PCTC, Interpol NCB Manila, played an important role in uh, crafting the security preparation for uh, this event. We were able to employ almost all of uh, the Interpol tools in this uh, operation, such as the I-24-7, which is uh, a reliable source of information and exchange of uh, intelligence uh, gathering. And uh, the database, of course, of uh, the uh, stolen lost travel document and the notices of Interpol. First of all, the National Central Bureau Manila will be the one overseeing the program. And there are different agencies connected with us. There's the Bureau of Immigration, there is the Bureau of Customs, the Airport Management, and the Philippine Information Agency. We must work in unison because we have very different roles in terms of doing our mandates. So the program that we made here, our exercise that we made here, is of course not to change the mandates of every agency, but strengthen them, empower them to do their jobs in a one government approach. Well, in every Interpol uh, projects that we have, first that we want to attain here is the regular multi-agency cooperation between of course, NCB Manila and all other Philippine law enforcement agencies. That will be all. Thank you for listening and I hope you have learned something from our report.